Hello everyone, so in this video, we're going to be reviewing Squibbler AI. And as you can see, we have uh, Kindle Preneur here, and they actually made a review on Squibbler AI. So let's go over it real quick. So they have made the uh, claims. So here are some of the audiences that Squibbler claims it's good for. So they're good for audiences such as fiction writers, non-fiction writers, content writers, script writers, screenwriters, documentation and knowledge management writers, technical writers, and journal writers. For just a private journal and right here if you scroll down so these are the pros so these are what scribbler stands out for so the pros of it is that they have organizational features they have writing templates uh they have a smart writer they have elements they have a robust free version so there's also a paid version so there are some uh features that are locked behind a paywall so uh, they have ai tools since this is uh, scribbler ai so they also have exporting options, so you can export it through uh, TXT, Docs, and PDF. They also have full-length manuscript prompt, and this is where Scribbler falls short. So the concept of it is that it is pricey for uh, if you want to get access to the premium features, it is pricey for $29 per month or $16 per month when billed annually. It is not fast enough, so it is very slow, and it also has limited formatting, and that is it. So who is Scribbler the best for? These are the so if you're one of these writers, so it Scribbler may be helpful for you, but if you're just an average user, if you're not really a writer, it is not worth it. So that is it. That is my review on Scribbler. So if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing.